with silence. It was far colder than the temperature could ever be. The frost covers me from head to toe, but I don't feel it. I step forward into a world that doesn't see me. Or maybe I don't really see the world. I keep walking, dying and living at the same time. I'm pulled to you. You draw me to places I don't know. The only certainty is the void you bring will be waiting for me. Why do I bother? The next step is said to be the most important. But I have no idea where I'm going. Is that supposed to comfort me? How do you embrace the unknown when it's indifferent? I keep going out of habit more than anything else. You see, the body has its own mind on this. It forces the steps, even though my soul screams for me to give up. Sometimes, I think I can see you. I swear, I can feel you near me. Even though you've been gone for decades. But what is time to a soul? The memories are trapped just like the frozen waters. Beneath the ice, there is life. But the surface is so fragile. I like to think, or pretend rather, that time is happening all at once. This way, the past is happening with the present. We love our fantasies, don't we? So, I sit with those memories. Then, something strange happens. It's when I stand still. I feel the emptiness reaching out to me. I feel you. And I remember what it was like to feel the warmth. I can see how you've never really left. The pain is still there, but the pain is a reminder that we are alive. We lived and still live despite each passing second pulling us closer to death. 